Even as the James Webb Space Telescope has found an Earth-sized planet since its release in December 2021, the James Webb Space Telescope has been focused on reconstructing the universe's history by discovering unknown stars and planets. James Webb Telescope has been quite successful in its mission of investigating the potential of life on new planets. Recently, the telescope located a potential habitable Earth-sized planet for the human race. How did James Webb come about the discovery of this Earth-like planet? What's so unique about this planet that scientists believe might be the next Earth colony? Join us in this video to explore how the James Webb Space Telescope located a habitable, green, and rocky planet. The James Webb Space Telescope, history, JWST is the most advanced telescope exploring our universe. It is equipped with high-resolution and highly sensitive units that help it to view objects too old, remote, or faint for the Hubble Space Telescope, its predecessor. The JWST uses infrared astronomy to conduct investigations across different fields of astronomy and cosmology. The telescope is tasked with primary functions of observing the first stars, the formation of first galaxies, and the exact characterization of potentially habitable exoplanets. Working in line with this mission, the JWST has been pivotal in discovering some habitable exoplanets, as we will see as we move further in this video. WASP-96 WASP-96b is one star that is the top talk of the town in the scientific community. It is a yellow dwarf star that has excited space enthusiasts as it holds the possibility of being habitable by humans. It is similar to our sun but differs by being cooler and older. This last bit of information came as a surprise to many scientists when they learned it is located approximately 1,150 light years from our planet in the southern constellation known as Phoenix. The primary star is known for hosting at least one exoplanet, the most popular one being WASP-96b. We did not know about this star until 2013 when it was discovered by the Wide Angle Search for Planets WASP, an international consortium of many academic organizations that have come together to perform an extremely wide-angle search for exoplanets using transit photometry. WASP employs a team of robotic telescopes to survey the sky simultaneously. The telescopes observe hundreds of stars at an apparent visual value from about 7 to 13. This system has two constantly running robotic observatories that cover the northern and southern hemispheres. The primary observatory, WASP North, can be found at Roque de los Muchachos Observatory on the island of La Palma in the Canary Islands. The other is WASP South at the South African Astronomical Observatory, South Africa. WASP observatories employ high-tech devices for follow-up characterization. By using Doppler spectroscopy, WASP has been able to determine exoplanet masses. Each observatory of the system has an array of eight Canon 200mm f1.8 lenses. WASP telescopes are installed on an equatorial telescope mount built by Optical Mechanics Inc. The Canon lenses include a large field of view, giving each observatory a large sky coverage of 490. Pointing the observatories perform by continuously monitoring the sky and taking images about once per minute. The observatories collect up to 100 gigabytes of data per night. These observatories use the transit method to measure the brightness of each star in every image. Moreover, small dips in brightness due to large planets passing in front of their parent stars can be looked for. One of the great exoplanet candidates of WASP that has been identified as holding the possibility of being habitable is WASP-96b. The gas giant exoplanet has a mass of 2.48 times the mass of Jupiter. It is located at 4.53 astronomical units away from its star, WASP-96. From the data acquired from the WASP observatories, we understand that this planet orbits its star every 3.4 days. It is about 1,120 light years away from us. The scientific community learned of the existence of this planet in October 2013. The James Webb Space Telescope has studied the planet, and from what the JWST tells us, water can be found within this planet's atmosphere. It does not stop here, James Webb also found evidence of clouds and hazes in WASP-96b's atmosphere. This discovery came as a shock to NASA and the rest of the astronomical community because this planet was initially thought to be free of clouds. Yes, we must thank the high-precision cameras of the JWST for changing this narrative. 
The space from which WASP-96b orbits its star is just one-seventh of the distance between Mercury and the Sun. The discovery of water in WASP-96b means that exoplanet enthusiasts were right all along, there may be a chance that we could have Earth 2.0 in one of these exoplanets. Beyond the excitement that comes with this discovery, scientists were forced to ask an important question, how can water be found in a very hot planet like WASP-96b? To answer this question, we need to go back to assess the history and chemistry of this remarkable planet. WASP-96b belongs to a family of hot Jupiters, which are gas giants known to orbit very close to their stars. From what scientists have observed over the years, these planets are believed to have formed further outward in their planetary systems where water seems to be abundant. Then, the planets migrated inward due to gravitational interactions with other planets or their stars. The effect of moving closer to their stars is that they experienced intense heating and tidal forces that inflated their atmospheres and altered their chemical composition. The presence of water in WASP-96b's atmosphere has made scientists hypothesize that it retains some of its original icy material during its migration. Another remarkable member of the WASP family of exoplanets is WASP-76b. Classified as a hot Jupiter planet, WASP-76b can be found in the constellation Pisces and orbits its host star WASP-76 within 1.8 days. The exoplanet is located at a distance of 0.033 astronomical units away from its star. WASP-76b is far larger than our planet because its mass is about 2.92 times that of Jupiter. Even though it is not an Earth-sized exoplanet, our descendants could one day live on this planet. Discovered on October 21, 2013, WASP-76b is the only known planet in its system and has an estimated equilibrium temperature of 2190 K. Most of what we know about this planet was obtained from data collected by the Hubble and Spitzer Space Telescopes. From investigations, it was found that there is evidence of titanium oxide and a small amount of water in the planet's atmosphere. When astronomers use higher resolution spectra to study the exoplanet, they discovered that ionized elements such as lithium, sodium, potassium, magnesium, calcium, manganese, and iron were present in this atmosphere. Further investigations revealed the presence of barium in 2022. In describing WASP-76b, scientists say it is cloudy, predominantly gray, and reveals thermal incandescence. WASP is not the only successful space program that has helped uncover exoplanets on our planet. The Transiting Exoplanet Survey Satellite TESS, is another outstanding space program managed by NASA that has been pivotal in searching and analyzing previously known exoplanets. TESS is a space telescope that searches for exoplanets using the transit method in an area 400 times larger than that covered by the famous Kepler mission. Launched on April 18, 2018, TESS was designed to detect about 1,250 transiting exoplanets orbiting targeted stars. TESS uses an array of wide-field cameras to perform a survey of 85% of the sky. It is equipped with four wide-angle telescopes and associated charge-coupled device CCD detectors. The telescope operates by transmitting discovered data to Earth every two weeks. The development of TESS has made it possible for us to study the mass, size, density, and orbit of a large group of small planets, including a small sample of rocky planets in the habitable zones of their host stars. Moreover, we can say that TESS helps to make the work of the JWST easier as it provides prime targets for further characterization by the James Webb Telescope. Unlike the Kepler telescope and ground-based telescopes that have mainly detected large exoplanets, TESS has helped us find planets around distant stars that are too faint for characterization. As of November 2022, TESS had identified 5,969 candidate exoplanets, of which only 268 had been confirmed and 1,720 had been dismissed as false positives. LHS 475b is among the list of confirmed exoplanets. LHS 475b exists in the system of the red dwarf star LHS 475, located 40.7 light years away from the solar system. LHS 475 can be found in the constellation of Octans. LHS 475b is the only known exoplanet in its system and was initially discovered in the transit data from TESS before the NP system of TESS confirmed it. 
One reason LHS 475B has held the attention of scientists is that it is close in size to Earth at 90.9% of its diameter. But a disparity occurs in temperature because it is much hotter than our planet. A visit to the exoplanet would find one experiencing an equilibrium temperature of 586 Kelvin. Scientists say that if we were to assume that this planet has little to no atmosphere, its dayside temperature would be expected at 748 Kelvin. Unlike most confirmed exoplanets, LHS 475b has a very short orbit around its star, completing an orbit within two days. We suspect this planet is tidally locked, which means only one side of the planet faces its star, basking in perpetual daytime while the other side is covered in pitch darkness. LHS 475b holds a special place in the history of the James Webb Space Telescope because it is the first Earth-sized planet to be confirmed by the JWST. Moreover, regarding radius, it is very similar to Mother Earth. A look at the data obtained from the Webb telescope shows that LHS 475b is a rocky world. On the first examination of this planet, scientists were astonished by its unique atmospheric spectrum. Another surprising aspect about this exoplanet is that it lies closer to its star than any other planet in the solar system. LHS 475b was discovered by JWST using two transits of the exoplanet, each transit lasts 41 hours, providing James Webb 21 hours of observation. Thanks to NASA for creating the JWST because it is the only known telescope scalable for observing and characterizing the atmospheres of Earth-sized exoplanets. After analyzing LHS 475b's transmission spectrum, the Webb telescope found out the composition of the planet's atmosphere. Although the data is still being processed and the results are yet to be out, we now know what is not in the planet. From the data obtained so far, scientists hypothesize that the atmosphere is filled purely with carbon dioxide. Hence, we need more precise measurements to differentiate a pure carbon dioxide atmosphere from a non-carbon dioxide atmosphere. The Webb telescope has made us understand that this planet is a few degrees warmer than our planet. This fact is evidence that we need to explore the planet better as it shows promise of being a habitable colony for the human race. If scientists were to discover clouds on this planet, then we would be forced to conclude that it is more like Venus, which had a carbon dioxide atmosphere. With more observation data expected in the coming days, we can finally confirm some of these hypotheses. The first discovered Earth-sized exoplanet reported by TESS is HD 219749b. The discovery was announced on April 15, 209 HD 219749b orbits the orange main sequence star HD 219749. The star can be found in the constellation of Reticulum. HD 219749b, discovered by TESS, orbits its host star in the constellation of Reticulum. This orange main sequence star lies approximately 153 light years away from Earth. HD 219749b is classified as an Earth-sized exoplanet, making it an exciting target for further study. The discovery of HD 219749b underscores the importance of TESS in expanding our knowledge of exoplanets. Launched in 2018, TESS operates by surveying a vast area of the sky to detect exoplanets using the transit method. This method involves observing periodic dips in the brightness of stars as planets pass in front of them, blocking a fraction of their light. TESS's wide-field cameras allow it to monitor over 200,000 stars, seeking these subtle changes in brightness that indicate the presence of orbiting planets. By covering a much larger area than its predecessor, the Kepler Space Telescope, TESS has vastly increased our potential to find and study exoplanets, especially those that may be Earth-like or potentially habitable. The data collected by TESS is crucial for identifying candidate exoplanets, which are then confirmed and characterized further by other telescopes like the James Webb Space Telescope. TESS has been instrumental in discovering thousands of exoplanet candidates, providing valuable targets for deeper exploration and investigation into their atmospheres, compositions, and potential habitability. In conclusion, both the James Webb Space Telescope and the Transiting Exoplanet Survey Satellite TESS, have revolutionized our understanding of exoplanets. 
From detecting Earth-sized planets around distant stars to characterizing their atmospheres and potential for hosting life, these telescopes continue to expand the frontiers of astronomy and planetary science. As technology advances and more data is gathered, we can expect even more remarkable discoveries that will shape our understanding of the universe and our place within it.